What have I gotten myself into? Really? Hello, Pottery friends. There she is again. It's been... Oh, <laughs> sorry. Coffee. Hold on. Uh, I think it's been three weeks. I'm sorry, but I'm back. I'm never gone long. I just took a little break from YouTube. Yeah, life happens, things needed attention, and so on and so forth. But I thought I'd do a short video to sort of kind of catch you all up where I am at, what I've been doing, what I've been making, what I'm planning. And um, yeah, that, that's it actually. I've been slow on firing. I'm having some trouble, not with my kiln, but with the power, Bonaire has become very, 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 very busy. The population has grown exponentially, but our power network hasn't. <laughs> I've had some experts here. My husband knows what he's talking about. I've been talking to the maker of my kiln. Turns out that 220 on Bonaire is not always 220 legally. They apparently have some kind of, um, what's the word, variance, which is allowed. So sometimes I just don't have enough power to get the kiln to count six. It sucks. I'm learning my way through that. The kiln is still getting to temperature, but in a totally different way than I'm used to. But, oh, hold on, Sissy is, uh, she needs to be under there. You've seen that before, right? Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> so, but I'm hoping to have a kiln opening for you next week. I'll do my best, okay? So let's, um, I will take you, oh, ah, and I made some beautiful new feathered friends right here in the garden. So yeah, if you like birds as much as I do, stick till the end of the video. Uh, enough talking uh, I will take off the camera and walk around because there are things drying just about everywhere <laughs> so here we go first we're going into Jimmy for those of you who are reasonably new here that is Jimmy yes it's a refrigerator yes it's outside no it's not connected to any power source it's not working I think my husband even stole the motor out of that <laughs> um, a little diversion you know this one it's not done yet i have made some spacers i will show you in a second but this is my jimmy and this is my drying box or damp box or i uh, i think it works absolutely fantastic because of the rubbers on the doors it seals very well so i spray with a spray bottle of water in there to keep things damp right now all of these are drying except for the one that's in plastic this you know, I've been on a hand building streak and this is a humongous, can you tell, humongous planter I made for myself. I hope you can see the details in it. There are butterflies in there. There's a lot of carving in there. And uh, at some point I was like, oh my gosh, you need to shrink a little bit more. Thankfully it did. It just fits. These are some mugs. That's an order. This one will be inverted and then will be the the stand for that one right here that's the next thing or phase i was going through i've been making uh, board games so let me these are still fairly wet I, oh i hope you can tell because the sun is shining in my camera on this side so i can see what i'm doing <laughs> these are is a this is a domino set made with black clay and colored slips. Underneath there is another one with white clay. So that's what's drying in the jimmy. I have some things drying there that are not mine. There are students. And then we go here. I need my kiln because I need room to dry things. Those are the little spacers for the totem pole. A little butt vase and I have made some new spoon rests this is all greenware these are all now dry i have also made some planters 
these are a little bit smaller than the other one a lot of carving and this one has hummingbirds I've made a little vase with uh, butterflies oh let me close this lid so you can see well there's the new cabling coming but I have to wait until my hobby hobby has time let me move this over carefully those are little I'll I will show you one little bee cups I've made these before you've seen them I've changed up the design a little bit as I said I was making board games these are five turtles and five shells and there is somewhere a flat board that goes with it this will be a tic-tac-toe I have made some smallish planters with cute text on it all bone dry I have made coasters there are more down there and this is where the coasters will sit in these are coasters this is something one of my students made um, you know I was working on a new water fountain the the top part you saw in a video a re previous video is now fired this one still needs to be fired this will be the basin for that one to sit in this will also be a tic-tac-toe game just a little thingies those are hopefully going to be some jewelry and more coasters and now uh, i'm going to show you something that uh, i mean some of you have called me bunkers and i am now uh 100% diagnosed as bunkers. Do you remember my last cute garden fishy creature? I adore making these. I can't show you because it's old. It's in a new forever home. Somebody who fell in love with it that came to visit me took it with her. Uh, I'll pop up a picture. Uh, then something funky happened. I like making these so much and I was making these little board games the dominoes and the tic-tac-toe I have I was thinking about begammon maybe and then I thought no no I'm going to do something different and uh, I don't uh, what have I gotten myself into really I took the camera off the tripod another switch through and uh, there it is yep she is making a chess set these are the cutest little version of that garden creature without the feet of course but yeah one two three four five six i've made six these are the pawns um yeah six made that makes uh 32 26 more to go oh god what have i gotten myself into <laughs> oh, let me show you one close up there they are so cute they're all cute i don't know which one to choose <laughs> they are basically made the same way as i make the bigger one except I don't need a, uh, a mold for this. I take a ball, make a hole, decorate it with tiny little... Can you... I mean, one of the things... Well, it's, it's part of the, my love for Scrafito. You know, working with my own colors, my own slips, uh, designing and the carving. It's all very, very satisfying. And another good part is I just, you know, after the bisque firing, if I bisque fire, I just have to dunk it in a, oh, I'm sweating, <laughs> uh, dunk it in a white glaze and it's done. These funky, bigger garden creatures get different kinds of glazes and combinations and I like to play with the jungle gems. It's, you know, it's not fun doing all those layers with a brush. I'm already dreading <laughs> having to glaze these but I'm going to see it through unless uh, my hubby has to uh, put me away in some kind of institution because I'm going crazy but yeah they're fun they're fun to make 
and I'm not in a hurry. Those are the birds that throw things on my roof. Um, oh boy, it's early. Well, early? What time is it? It's 10 a.m. and I'm already sweating. <laughs> um, yeah, where was I? I don't remember. Of course, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, the just said I'm not in a hurry with it, but as long as I'm having fun with it, it's fine. It's August now, so I am slowly preparing myself for yay, the big C Christmas. <laughs> it's the only market I have here on Bonaire, and um, compared to many of you who are probably in high season now, going to craft fairs and markets and things like that, for me it's low season. So I that's why I get to do making those planters and, and such for myself. So that's it. It's just a little, you know, catch you up where I am, what I'm doing. I hope you all are doing very, very well. In the meantime, get some clay under those fingernails or do anything creative. Dance, cook, sing, compose or whatever. It's good for your soul. And be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And I will insert some new friends new feathered friends uh footage here i've looked them up there are only five or six spots where they are still living and breathing one of them is bonaire no there was not a flamingo coming into my garden that would be very 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 weird it's the now i have to pronounce this right the yellow winged amazon parrot here we go see you in the next video bye bye Look at these beauties. I have just put some peanuts on the jimmy. And we, they are eyeing them. These are so beautiful. Hold on. Ooh, on the loud. <laughs> Zooming you in a bit. Aren't they pretty? Our Loras. Let's, oh, that, that went another one. There, there were four of them. Let's see if they want to go down. So far they have not. But I think it's too, um, too delicious. It's just three meters away from me, so I'm hopefully not bothering them. Yeah, are you going for it? Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. There they are. It's the first time they will ever do this if they will. And I bet you they will be asking for them tomorrow. Oh, there you are, gorgeous. Hey. Well, you're there now. Go get one. If I zoom out, you can see how big he is. That's the fridge. That's a double door fridge. Now well, that's how big he is. Hey, oh, ooh, that's nice. Oh, there is his partner. Oh, did you see those colors in the wings? Well, enjoy your meal, buddies. Yeah, I'll clean up after you. I know. Mm. 
Oh, aren't they delicious? Yeah. Me loves me peanuts. He's eyeing me. <laughs> I think that's a better place to eat it. There you go. Enjoy your meal. You know my studio, right? Well, somebody is getting very brave. Look at him. I guess putting peanuts out there gives courage. Or he just likes peanuts. I don't know. He's gorgeous. Huh. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? No peanuts yet. No, nope, not yet. If I do that, you are going to live here all day. You have to wait. There he goes. <laughs> See you later this afternoon, buddy. I am sitting in my chair. And uh, I promised not to overfeed the parrots, but somebody is um, having a different opinion. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm standing up now. Yeah, you're too gorgeous. There you go. Smile for the camera. Okay, one more. Hold on. I just went inside to get myself a drink. And I tucked away the peanuts. He was already on my, uh, on my um, uh, slap roller over there. So I think if I would have left the bag on my desk, he would have, he would have, he for sure would have. There we go. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Bad filming. Sorry. He doesn't even fly away anymore. He just sits there, eats it, turns around and starts. So yeah, we'll see how this develops. That was your last peanut, buddy. <laughs> Well, I thought for a moment he was going to land on my head. Yeah. You do not have any fear for humans. I bet I'm not the only one that feeds you peanuts. So I just said you had your last one. So go fly around. Go to the neighbors. Yeah, you're pretty. Oh, that's his friend, his friend, or her friend. I, I, oh, there he goes. I, do, I, I have to ask somebody how to tell the difference. I don't know. So, yeah, I think he got the message. <laughs> See you tomorrow. What say you? What say you? Are you talking to me? Really? <laughs>